All right, just wanted to do this real quick video on what I want to call internet pastors and the fledgling of pride, because there seems to be a very growing, uh, very much a growing phenomenon on, uh, in, especially in the Western world, it seems, of there's these uh, internet ministers who pop up, who start YouTube channels and websites and claim they're a ministry, which is kind of funny because I don't recall reading in the uh, book of Acts or anywhere in the Pauline epistles, the pastoral epistles, where they were uh, ordaining internet pastors. You know, I looked through all, all throughout it and I double checked it to make sure there are no internet pastors anywhere in the book of Acts or uh, it, pretty much in all the days of the early church. You can look through it, you won't find one. So it's funny how these guys uh, pop up and think they're actually, you know, following the actual requirements. But uh, I want to give some scriptures, okay? The following scriptures actually describe and also approve the uh, internet pastors from, you know, for just one from uh, Topeka, Kansas. Uh, also Arizona, there's one there too, uh, Northern Maine, and also his little lackey over from, I think it's Indiana, who actually has a wine press that produces wine like uh, the poison of dragons and the venom of asps. You can read uh, about that in Deuteronomy 32, verse 31 to 38 for the scripture reference, I just paraphrased. Also, there's an internet pastor who is actually a very militant warrior for the, the uh, false Christ that he serves. So these verses describe him as well. And a quick thing to note as well is that on the thing of pride is that being prideful is actually uh, and also being a scorner too being prideful and being a scorner are actually connected and also being full of contention and strife are also connected with being prideful and a scorner you can read about that in proverbs 13 10 proverbs 28 verse 25 proverbs 21 verse 24 1 timothy 6 verse 3 to 5 proverbs 22 verse 10 and proverbs 14 verse 3. i want to throw that out there but Here's the first verse I'm going to just quickly throw out. So Proverbs 20 verse 6 says, Most men will reclaim everyone his own goodness, but a faithful man who can find it. That's the thing about these uh, internet internet ministers, is that whenever you rebuke them, they'll just throw out their accomplishments in your face. Why? Well, because most men will proclaim everyone his own goodness. Proverbs uh, 25 verse 14 Whoso boasteth himself of a false gift is like clouds and wind without rain. You know, it's funny because there is the um, internet minister from uh, Indiana who uh, has that wine press that, that puts out the poison of asps and the venom of dragons. So the venom of dragons, so the poison of dragons and the venom of asps. I got the thing mixed up there. And uh, he loves boasting himself of a false gift of being a watchman. Well, funny because watchman is not even a New Testament office, but... Yeah, who so boasts himself of a false gift? He's a uh, cloud and wind without rain. Sums him up perfectly. I don't even have to give commentary. He just, that verse describes the internet minister from Indiana to a T. Uh, Proverbs 25, verse 27. It is, not, it is not good to eat much honey, for so, so for men to search their own glory is not glory. Yeah, you glory before men, you want to have you know worldly glory. It's going to be a bit of a problem there, isn't it? Proverbs 27, verse 2, Let another man praise thee, and let not thine own mouth a stranger, and not thine own lips. Hmm. Again, a good rebuke to a lot of these internet pastors who, they just praise themselves and talk about their accomplishments. Especially when you try to rebuke them, they just throw it in your face, because, well, they're prideful, that's the, that's the main issue. But this verse actually ties in with uh, the, what the Apostle Paul did. Because they like bringing up the verses on, uh, for example, when Paul was talking about how he basically he essentially had to list off his accomplishments, but you got to remember the context was he was being consistently berated and f was facing all kinds of barrage, questioning his apostleship. So he had to just throw it out there, his fruit out there, uh, in that situation. But that wasn't something you're supposed to just do all the time. It was kind of the exception to the rule. But first, Second uh, Corinthians ten verse twelve: For we dare not make ourselves of the number. Or compare ourselves with some with start with some that command that commend themselves sorry, but they measuring themselves by themselves, and comparing themselves among themselves are not wise. I, I need not say any more. That pretty much just sums up everything. Second uh, Corinthians twelve verse eleven. I am become a fool in glorying. Ye have compelled me, for I ought to have uh, been re been commanded of you. For in nothing am I behind the very chiefest apostles, though I be nothing. See, he's even saying, even as he's in the right for talking about his, his accomplishments, he's still saying, you know, I'm a fool. You know, I'm, I'm a fool in glorying. Called humbleness. And these next verses I'm going to read show the attitude of somebody who isn't humble, who just loves throwing out their accomplishments and their achievements. 
Luke chapter 18, verse 9 to 14. And he spake this parable unto a certain which trusted in themselves that they were righteous and despised others. Describes that one individual who is the uh, who is a very militant warrior for his false Christ. Need not, need not say more. Uh, two men went up into the temple to pray, the one a Pharisee and the other a publican. The Pharisee stood and prayed thus with himself, God, I thank thee that I am not as other men are, extortioners, unjust, adulterers, or even as this publican. I fast twice in the week, I give tithes of all that I possess. And the publican standing afar off would not lift up so much as his eyes unto heaven, but smote upon his breast, saying, God, be merciful to me, a sinner. I tell you, this man went down, went down to his house justified rather than the other. For every one that exalteth himself shall be abased, and he that humbleth himself shall be exalted. Exactly. The Pharisee will boast about his accomplishments, but the humble saint will... Uh, first of all, know the fact that any holiness or accomplishments he has are only done by God's, or are basically done to God's glory, first of all, and are done by the work of the Holy Ghost in you. Throw it out there as well. But the, the saint won't even boast. He knows that he's just a sinner saved by grace. God be merciful to me, a sinner. Luke 14, verse 7 to 11. And he put forth the parable to those which were bidden, uh, when he marked how they chose out the chief rooms, saying unto them, When thou art bidden, when thou art bidden of any man to a wedding, sit not down in the highest room, lest a more honourable man than thou be bidden of him. And he that bade thee and him, sorry, and him, come and say to thee, Give this man place, and thou begin uh, with shame to take the lowest room. Uh, but when thou art bidden. Go and sit down in the lowest room, uh, that when he that bade thee cometh, he may say unto thee, Friend, go up higher. Uh, then thou shalt have worship in the presence of them that sit up, meet with thee. Okay, sit up, sit, sorry, sit up, meet with thee. Sorry, I do apologize. A uh, little bit, a little bit drowsy right now. I uh, was up late last night with, you know, the New Year's thing and everything else. But it says, For whosoever that exalteth himself shall be abased, and he that humbleth himself shall be exalted. Yeah. When you're humbling yourself, then you get actual exaltation. But when you're trying to abate, when you're basically just praising yourself, yeah, the only exaltation you're going to get is just yourself. You're not going to get it from anybody else. So I apologize. This video was a bit rushy. I was up a little bit too late last night with the whole New Year's thing. Uh, I mean, generally speaking, I really, you know, I only did it mostly because my family were awake. So it kind of kept me up as well because, you know, they're rather, uh, rather loud on that time of year. But so... As a result, you know, maybe a bit rusty in this video, may sound a bit, you know, tired, but I wanted to just get that out there because these internet ministers are fledgling their pride, and these verses serve as a rebuke for them. Because, well, he that humbleth himself shall be exalted, but he that exalteth himself shall be abased. When you're exalting yourself, uh, it just shows that not only are you only going to get exaltation from yourself, but also you're going to get abased at some point. You're going to be, you're going to be, if you're truly born again, you're going to be humbled at some point, but it won't be, it won't be because you want it. So because, well, prideful people don't like being told they're wrong. Don't like having to be shown they're wrong. So anyway, may the grace of our Lord Jesus Christ be with all the brethren. Goodbye. Thank you.